Hello everybody and welcome to my 30th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to carry on going into calling other sub procedures uh, but it's going to go into variable scope a little bit. So variable scope is a really important concept to get your head around in order for any of these functions uh, and any kind of higher level program that you do uh, if, in order for them to work. They're, they're very important. So I'm just going to get rid of this code here um, and then my message box is going to put in this call our, uh, just call a string str then up here we're going to create our string so dim str as string and then let's give it a value so I have been given a value so we're now going to have this so if we play this now then it's going to say it doesn't like it because we haven't put our equal sign in but now if we play it now then it's going to say I have been given a value but then what if we use our call procedure in the middle so let's call our side sub and in our side sub we try and reference that string so str let's, play, let's press play on this now uh, and then it's going to say uh, argument not optional so let's just put this in brackets press play and it's not going to work because uh, for what it's doing here is it's declaring this string in our main sub and it's assigning it a value in our main sub but this this variable here it's scope it only has what's called local scope within this code block so you can only access this string within this between this sub and the end of the sub you can't actually access it in our side sub down here so if we were to create our own uh, create it again down here and then we press stop and then let's just play this one again down here then it's going to come through blank and then it's going to come through as I've been given a value so what it's doing is it's put coming through here it's creating a string and it's got local scope within this sub procedure it's giving that string a value and then it's calling side sub and then we're creating our string again but this string only has scope within this sub this string only has scope in this sub so they're essentially two different strings we might as well have called them different names but because within memory they're stored both in separate places because they've both got different scope so because we haven't given it a value in here then it's just coming through as a blank in the message box so if we put this string equal to something now say I have been given a value inside sub and only have scope in side sub. So if we press play up here now, it's going to say I have been given a value in side sub and only have scope in side sub. And then it's going to say I have given a value. So even though this one's changing the value of string, it's only changing this sub's value of string. And then when we go back into here, this other string, it's still untouched. It's untainted by our side sub. So I know I've probably repeated myself quite a few times there, but it's a really important message to kind of hammer home. And if you have any questions about your uh, your scoping, then please drop them in the comments below and I'll, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, but that's it for this tutorial. Uh, have a little play around and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial uh, when I'm going to show you how to pass values into a sub. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.